America, home to one of the greatest sports in the world, American football. Since the NFL was founded back in 1920, over 26,000 men have suited up and played professionally. All 50 states, as well as the nation's capital, have had some sort of impact on the game in terms of producing pro talent. So today, we will take a look at each state's best player ever, as well as their top current stars and where the state ranks overall in terms of producing talent. Keep in mind, this is based on what state the player went to high school in, and not necessarily where they were born. I'll be using data from AinsworthSports.com, which has ranked every NFL player ever. Now, this website does have a few flaws, but it's the best overall source I could find. In the top comment, I'll leave some important information to clarify a few points. But with that all said, let's head down south to our first state, Alabama. Coming in as the 10th ranked state, Alabama does not have a pro sports team due to their lack of a big city, but they are home to the most dominant college football program of our generation. Current NFLers from the state include Marcel Darius, CJ Mosley, and Julio Jones. Now, as far as the best overall, of the nine Hall of Famers from Alabama, Terrell Owens ranks out the highest. Before he led the league three times in receiving yards and was a five-time first-team All-Pro, Owens was a four-sport athlete in high school and a three-sport athlete in college. Alaska. Coming in second to last, Alaska has only had six former high schoolers make it to the NFL, and there hasn't been a single active player from the state since 2015. Although Alaska has had little impact on the NFL, they are home to perhaps the most unique football landscape I've ever seen. Not only does this field actually exist, but it's the northernmost football field in the world. Out of the six players ever from Alaska, Mark Schlereth is the most accomplished, with three Super Bowl rings and two Pro Bowls to his name in 12 seasons. Arizona, opposite in terms of the weather compared to Alaska. A game back in 2013 between Arizona State and my alma mater Sacramento State kicked off at a outside temp of 107 degrees. That must have been fun. In terms of ranking, Arizona's smack dab in the middle with just over 200 NFLers ever. I think the coolest thing that I saw while looking at Arizona's best players was that Steve Jordan and his son Cam Jordan are both considered top five in the history of the state, which is honestly incredible. As far as the best player though, that honor goes to Hall of Fame guard and Vikings legend, Randall McDaniel. McDaniel made 12 Pro Bowls in his career, mostly back in the 90s. Arkansas. Coming in just behind Arizona, this state is home to prominent football figures such as Jerry Jones, Barry Switzer, and Paul Bear Bryant. As an average state in terms of producing pro talent, the most notable current players are Dre Greenlaw and Hunter Henry. And the best to ever do it from Arkansas has to be all-around playmaker Bobby Mitchell. Mitchell was a four-time Pro Bowl back in the late 50s and 60s and was the near MVP in 1962. I think I got my swagger back. Rodgers takes the snap, blitz on. Rodgers under pressure, lets it go over the right side. Got it to Devonta Adams at the goal line. It's a touchdown and a penalty marker down. Aaron Rodgers and Devonte Adams are just two of many incredible talents to come out of California. The combined amount of Hall of Famers from the four previously mentioned states is 17. California alone has 40. No state has produced more NFL talent and more Hall of Famers than them. But it makes sense because California has the largest population of any state by far. To no one's surprise, the greatest player ever from the top ranked state is Tom Brady. Kinda crazy to think that this upcoming season will be the first that some of us have ever witnessed without this guy playing. Staying in the West, Colorado is home to the Denver Broncos and now Deion Sanders. Will his time as Colorado's head coach go well? Let me know down below what you think. The state itself ranks just below average in terms of producing pro talent. Colorado is home to current stars Christian McCaffrey, Austin Eckler, and Calais Campbell. Campbell is the most accomplished modern player from this state, but as far as all-time history, the top-ranked player is Dutch Clark, who's a Hall of Famer that was a dominant two-way player back in the 1930s. Connecticut. Home to ESPN and the most dominant women's college basketball team, Connecticut comes in as the 34th ranked state. Up in the Northeast, it's more of a baseball and college basketball state, but they've still churned out a few big NFL names. Standout corner Byron Jones is the most notable current player. 
and all-time, Steve Young is Connecticut's top-ranked player ever. Young is arguably the greatest left-handed quarterback the game has ever seen. And Delaware. This is another small state that, due to its population, is pretty insignificant in the football landscape. They are surrounded by some big-time football, but all I know about them is that Rich Gannon and Joe Flacco played for the FCS school, Delaware. The most notable current NFL player from Delaware is Chris Godwin. And despite only producing 31 pros, they are home to one of the best defensive linemen ever, Hall of Famer Randy White, aka the Manster. He's arguably the best defensive tackle of the early 1980s. Considered one of the big three, Florida has produced some of the greatest athletes we have ever seen. In terms of the NFL, they are home to 19 Hall of Famers, and I'd argue they'd produced the fastest 4x1 relay of any state. Patrick Peterson, Derrick Henry, Khalil Mack, the Bosa brothers, and Lamar Jackson are amongst current notable players from Florida, and the GOAT from this state, according to the website, is Ray Lewis. Lewis, a 12-time Pro Bowler, two-time Super Bowl champ, and Hall of Famer is the single most impactful linebacker of the 21st century. He's also one of the very few players to play in a Pro Bowl in three separate decades. Neighbor to Florida, Georgia has produced some incredible athletes of their own, and maybe the best in terms of pure athleticism. Bo Jackson, home to the reigning back-to-back -back college football national champions, Georgia as a state is one of the top producers of pro talent coming in sixth overall. Darius Slay, Tyreek Hill, and Cam Hayward are amongst their notable active players. And of the eight Hall of Famers from Georgia, Fran Tarkenton is the highest ranked, with Calvin Johnson as the top modern player. More thought of as a vacation spot to most Americans, Hawaii has not made a huge impact on the grand scheme of football. Maybe other than when their college team was randomly good back in 2007. But overall, this state has produced less than 100 NFL players. Amongst the 10 or so active players from the state, DeForest Buckner, Tyson Alu-Alu, and Tua are amongst the notable. And for the best all time, we have the six-time Pro Bowl guard, Olin Cruz. He was a beast for the Bears during the 2000s. But to this point, Hawaii has had zero NFL Hall of Famers. Idaho, the state I was raised in. It's sad for me to see how low we rank on this list, but it makes sense population-wise. More known for potatoes and the beautiful outdoors, Idaho has only produced 50 or so pro players, and just three in the top 1,000. Leighton Vanderesh and Taysom Hill come to mind as notable current players. As far as all-time though, at least Idaho's produced two Hall of Famers, with eight-time Pro Bowl defensive back Larry Wilson leading the way as the top-ranked player. Wilson was a beast for the Cardinals back in the day. Illinois. As one of the most important states in early NFL and football history, Illinois has produced 38 of the top 1,000 players and over 600 total, which ranks them out eighth overall. Although they mostly do rank high because of their impact in the early to mid 20th century, as opposed to today. Jimmy G and Michael Thomas are amongst the most notable active players from the state, and the GOAT of Illinois is who else but Bears legendary linebacker Dick Butkus. Considered one of the most intimidating players in league history, Butkus was the best defensive player in the league from the moment he entered as a rookie, and he never looked back. Indiana. Now, you may have noticed in the beginning of the video that Indiana was randomly not highlighted like the other states. And that's because the site link doesn't work when you click it. And it's only for this state. So for Indiana only, we will go off of players who were born there. Coming in 16th, Indiana is home to Notre Dame and the birthplace of around 400 NFLers. The most notable current player is future Hall of Famer Zach Martin. And the greatest ever from Indiana is Hall of Famer and 11-time Pro Bowler Rod Woodson. Woodson had a long and storied career and made a huge impact on three separate franchises. 
Iowa. The lower populated Midwestern state has produced about a third of the players that Indiana has, but they both have about the same amount in the top 1,000. The most notable current player from Iowa has to be Brandon Scherf, a five-time Pro Bowl offensive lineman. Now, as far as the greatest Iowa player ever, that would be Kurt Warner. As the only modern day Hall of Famer from the state, not only was Warner undrafted, but before he went on to win MVP and become a Super Bowl champ, he played arena football for the Iowa Barnstormers. Kansas. Kansas is not known for football like some of their neighbors. Some of you might think, well, what about the Kansas City Chiefs? But they're actually in Missouri. Kansas ranks similar to Iowa, coming in 31st. Current Bears starting guard Cody Whitehair is the state's most notable active player. And all time, despite not being a football state, they are home to Barry Sanders, who's considered by some to be the greatest back ever. When you watch his highlights, that's pretty hard to argue with. Kentucky, another basketball state, and talent-wise, comes out nearly identical to Kansas. You'll see plenty of future NBA prospects come play ball in this state. But as far as current active NFL players, rotational wide receiver Devontae Parker is the most notable. The all-time greatest player from Kentucky is Steelers Hall of Fame center Dermody Dawson, who made six first-team All-Pros back in the 1990s. Eagles all season long. Donovan McNabb has been benched here in the second half. Pop still has it. Throws into the end zone. It's intercepted by Ed Reed. He gets away from Cobb and he is still going down the sideline. Brent Selleck trying to cut him off. He goes all the way, touchdown! Home to the New Orleans Saints, LSU, and the Manning family, Louisiana has played an important role in football history. With seven of the top 1,000 players, the Bayou State cements itself at number seven with current notable players such as Tyron Matthew, Dak Prescott, and Jarvis Landry, as well as young stars Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase. At the top of Louisiana's all-time talent, Peyton Manning reigns king. As one of the top quarterbacks to ever do it, his dad played for the Saints while Peyton and Eli were kids, which is why they grew up here. Now, going to the furthest northeastern state, Maine, is certainly not known for football. Ranking out third to last with only 13 pro players in its history, it's one of the rare states where soccer is a bigger high school sport than football. The best football player from Maine is 1947 NFL champion Chet Bolger, who played nine NFL seasons. And currently, there is not a single current NFL player from Maine. Moving down, but still in the Northeast, Maryland is home to the Baltimore Ravens and the most unique looking state flag. As a state that loves football more than any other sport, Maryland comes in slightly above average in terms of producing pro football talent. Currently, Stephon Diggs is the best Maryland player in the NFL, and he could be the best to ever do it from the state when he's all said and done. But the top ranked player as of now is Chuck Foreman, who was a five-time Pro Bowl running back in the 70s with the Vikings. Massachusetts, home to the University of Harvard and Boston, which is one of the most iconic sports cities in the country, comes in smack dab in the middle in producing NFL talent. Although, like other Northeastern states, they had much more impact in the early to mid 20th century. Nowadays, Richard Rodgers, who's a backup tight end, is the state's best current player. As for all time, that would be Miami Dolphins legend, Nick Bonaconti. This dude was one of the pivotal players during the Shula years and played an instrumental part in their 1972 undefeated season. Despite coming in as one of the most popular hockey states, football still reigns supreme here. They are home to the Big House, the largest capacity stadium in America, which can seat over 107,000. It's about time they're good again. This state plays a huge role in football history, ranking ninth overall, which is just ahead of Alabama in total pro players. The current best player for Michigan is Michigan State's own Kirk Cousins. And Michigan's greatest NFLer ever is the all-time interception leader and Hall of Famer, Paul Kraus. Coincidentally, both Kraus and Cousins were drafted by Washington and then went on to play for Minnesota. 
Speaking of Minnesota, this is the official hockey state in America. As the state that's home to 10,000 lakes, Minnesota dominates in terms of developing pro hockey players, not necessarily pro football players. They rank out about average. Adam Thielen is the state's most accomplished current player, and Minnesota's highest ranked player ever is Cardinals great Larry Fitzgerald, who is second all time in major receiving categories. Like many southern states, Mississippi has produced a large amount of pro talent, ranking out 14th overall. Young receivers DK Metcalf and AJ Brown are notable young stars from the state, and both played their college ball at Ole Miss. As for the most notable current player, that would have to be Fletcher Cox. Also, Mississippi is home to who this site ranks as the number one football player of all time, Jerry Rice. Rice went to college at FCS school Mississippi Valley State, but despite going to a small school, he was such a dominant college player that he still managed to get drafted in the first round. It's unlikely that his NFL career receiving records will ever be topped. Home to the Kansas City Chiefs, and formerly the St. Louis Rams, Missouri is an average state in terms of producing NFL talent. Their most accomplished current player is Zeke Elliott, and Missouri's highest ranked player ever is Hall of Famer and seven-time Pro Bowl defensive back, Roger Worley. Worley played for the Cardinals back in the 70s and 80s, and because the Cardinals were in St. Louis at the time, he ended up playing his entire football career in his home state, which is pretty cool. Heading on over to the rural Northwest, Montana is not known for producing sports talent in general, as it's a state more known for its diverse wildlife and natural beauty. Not to mention it's one of the least populated states overall. As of today, there are just three players in the NFL from the state, with Seahawks starting tight end Will Disley as the most accomplished. With just around 40 pro players ever, Montana's highest ranked football star is the four-time Pro Bowl offensive tackle Pat Donovan who played a critical role for the Cowboys back in the 70s and 80s. Up next, Nebraska, who used to have a good college football team, but they haven't been great in a long time. And other than that, this state hasn't had a huge impact on college or pro football. In terms of producing talent, they come in 33rd, right between Kentucky and Connecticut. Buck starting lineback Shaq Barrett is the state's most notable current player. And Nebraska's top ranked player ever is technically early NFL legend Vern Llewellyn who played back in the 20s and 30s. For some Super Bowl era stars, their best ever is Mick Tinglehoff and Gail Sayers, who are both Hall of Famers. Nevada, home to Las Vegas and the desert, this state comes in 39th with less than 100 pro players ever produced. Kyle Van Noy leads the way as the state's top player in the NFL today, and coming out on top as Nevada's GOAT is one of the 2000's most iconic running backs, Steven Jackson. Jackson had over 11,000 career rushing yards and made three Pro Bowls. Once again, we have another state not exactly known for football due to how small it is. As of today, there's just two current players from New Hampshire, with the most accomplished being tight end Ryan Griffin, who's played 10 years in the NFL. A lot of the impactful talent from this state was from about a century ago. And for the top player ever from this state, that would be quarterback Greg Landry, who's most well known for his time in Detroit, where he was a periodic starter. Moving down south a bit, but staying in the Northeast, New Jersey has made quite an impact on the pro football scene with nearly 500 pro players ever. This has them ranked 11th, just behind Alabama. Their current notable players are led by Devin McCourty, who's a three-time Super Bowl champ and a two-time Pro Bowler. And Jersey's best player ever is Hall of Fame center Jim Ringo, who was arguably the best center in football in the 50s and 60s. New Mexico. Despite this state offering almost nothing in regards to pro football, they are home to one of the most iconic and best overall players from the 2000s, Brian Urlacher. Urlacher is the University of New Mexico's highest drafted player as well as the state's most accomplished pro by a landslide. Currently, there's only one pro player from the state, and that's Taylor's tight end, Zach Gentry. New York, with a huge sports scene and one of the most populated states, New York ranks out number 15 in producing pro talent. They're more known for producing basketball and baseball players. As of today, linebacker Chandler Jones is the state's best current player. And there's no doubt that the best player to ever play high school ball in this state 
is Jim Brown. Jim Brown's certainly the greatest running back of his generation and possibly the greatest running back of all time. Rest in peace. Going down the East Coast a bit, North Carolina, despite being more of a basketball state, has an ever bigger impact on pro football than New York does. With over 450 total pros, North Carolina ranks out at number 13. As of now, Keenan Allen is the state's best player today, and Hall of Fame linebacker and nine-time Pro Bowler Bobby Bell is the state's best player. This dude is a Chiefs legend, and arguably the best linebacker from his era. North Dakota Other than possessing the most dominant FCS football program, North Dakota State, there's not much to say as far as football. They are one of the smallest populations of any state, and have only produced 14 total pro players. The best current player is North Dakota State's own Carson Wentz. And the best player ever from North Dakota is Pete Retzlaff, who was a great tight end for the Eagles back in the 50s, making five Pro Bowls. Smith pressures Manning, throws a lob for Demarius Thomas, intercepted by a flying Charles Woodson. Back to the 